So I've been doing some study on the silver, the silver indices, SIO, SOIJ, and some of the gold mining stocks indices, uh, and also gold and silver. And there's something that I've just actually realized by actually doing some analysis, redoing my analysis, re-having a look at it with, with fresh eyes. There's something really interesting. One is not like the other, but one is dragging the other potentially to the upside. And we may be, we may be getting ready for a pop a break and once it breaks we may actually be seeing a really big move so let me share with you a new fresh look of what i've just discovered and hopefully this helps you out let's get straight into it don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market it takes you a long time to become a good trader so this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader Alrighty, traders let's get straight into it um, we're going to give you, I'm going to be sharing with you what I've been seeing, um, by looking at these markets and, uh, and it comes down to this one pattern that I'm actually seeing. I'm like, oh, wow, this is, this is something I actually didn't realize. And this is something that I want to encourage you to do. Okay. Every now and then it's good to just, del just to delete everything off the screen, just like this, have a blank screen and then go back and redo your analysis on the big picture. Don't be looking at the last three months. All right. The last sort of three months. Because yeah, the last three months is okay, but at least one year worth of data to get a much more bigger view on what's going on. That way you can look at the gold mining stocks, you can look at the the silver stocks, and all the silver gina stocks as well too. <laughs> silver gina. Uh, <laughs> silver juniors. Silver gina stocks. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I'm actually in silver gina stocks, so um, I like silver ginas. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, I'm actually writing a webinar today, guys. Um, where I'm going to share with you exactly how I trade the markets, how I scan the markets for my opportunities, what is my trading strategy, how I trade the markets, and you know exactly what. Also, what I had to learn to become a good trader, and so much more. Very first thing in the description, or go to johnsfreetraining.com to register for that, guys. And I look forward to seeing you over there on my free training that I'm running. You're going to absolutely love it. Now. Let me share with you exactly what this one pattern is all about. Now, I was going through and re-looking re at the markets today. And let me have a quick look at, say, silver and gold. So I read, it, I read it some analysis on gold. I'm like, okay, so this is where gold is. Like right now, we're still potentially having this small little false breakout to the upside. Now, guys, that it doesn't mean we're going to have a false breakout here. As I was saying in yesterday's video, I'm just redoing my analysis. And I, I, my job is just to bend and mold with the markets, be, you know, be like brisk water, right? Brisk water, like flow with the markets. All right, that's what we have to do. We have to flow. We have to be like water when we're flowing to the market. So um, we can see that we had a little bit of a false breakout to the upside on this little, uh, no, a little bit of a break to the upside based on this channel here. And we're having, having this channel coming or they have the support line coming all the way up through here. So you can see we had a nice little false breakout to the upside. But uh, but you can see we if we do drop to the downside, then we actually have a bit of a support line. I didn't realize this yesterday, but we actually have a bit of a support line coming down through here as well too, which possibly could be possibly could be uh, could could be running into into some trouble. Now, guys, I'm bullish overall. So even if we did get a bit of a drop to the downside over the next say week or two, I believe I believe that this is just going to be a little little fart now. I'm <laughs> A little, a little fart in the ass from from gold, and then before it starts to take off, <laughs> man, I'm all over it today. Fart in the ass, I. Eh? <laughs> oh man, I cracked myself up doing this video for you guys. Anyway, hope you bumblebees like these videos. <laughs> <laughs> a little fart in the ass. Um, <laughs> if gold has a little fart in the ass for a while, it's okay, guys, because I'm. I think. I think for the next couple of years, we're going to see a massive move. We just don't know when that is. I believe we're starting to get. We're starting to get ready for that little. Uh, we're starting to get ready for quite a nice move to the upside, based on it's still not doing much for a long time. And if you notice, saying the cryptos, right? The cryptos, they didn't. You, you can see the cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, you know, and some some other some other some other of these uh, cryptos. Guess what? No one really talked about them, did they? Like they maybe talked about it a little bit, but they were very quiet there for a few months. And now everyone talks about crypto, right? That's the wrong time to buy on crypto. When was the right time to buy on crypto? When you know when I bought, it. I bought it you know many months ago. Uh, I didn't buy Bitcoin, but I bought one of the other ones. Um, it was actually Ethereum that I actually bought. Me and my private clients actually bought it as well too. We actually bought it last year. Um, so Ethereum's been very, 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 very nice for me. 
for me. <laughs> what the hell was that? Very nice for me. <laughs> <laughs> I went out on the date. The date. The, the date was good, <laughs> but I'm protecting my profits by, by bringing my stop up, especially with Ethereum. Anyway, so looking at gold right now, even if <laughs> got the little fart in the ass thing in my, <laughs> my mind right now <laughs> when I'm looking at gold. Anyway, let me move on. So silver, silver right now, same sort of thing. Look, we we had this downward trend line coming down through here, little resistance, bam, 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 all the way down. Look what happened. We broke. And now we're slightly breaking to the upside. So to me, we have started a new upward trend. And we have this very long-term trend line coming down through here. So even if we did get a little bit of a pullback, you know, we went we went out we went out that date I was talking about yesterday, you know, and it seemed to it seemed to be going okay or it'd be boring, and then suddenly she she nicked off, she ghosted for a while. <laughs> so, so then the so then the market tanks for a little bit, or market drops a little bit down to 24, she ghosts you for a while, then suddenly she picks the phone up, she says, Oh, I'm sorry. I've just, you know, I've had a lot of stuff going on, but I do miss you and I want to see you. And then suddenly we go another day and we, and we, we break up to new highs and we're, we're above $30 then. <laughs> and then us men, we do something to, we, we do, we do something to screw it up. And then she's like, oh, pissed at, pissed off at, pissed off at us again. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, so guys, that's, that's exactly what you, what you're going to expect with gold and silver. Now moving over to the silver, what I actually noticed here, look at this here, look at the SIL, look at the silver. Firstly, we had this very nice trend line coming up through here, and we had this sort of overall sort of arching uh, sort of resistance line through here, through here, through here, through here. And notice how we actually were squeezing right up into a triangle pattern. I didn't actually notice this triangle pattern until I took everything off the screen and started to redraw some major lines. I'm like, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? Huh, look at that. Here we go, bing. Here we go, right? You know, and it's um, and, and now we're just actually slightly breaking out. So this actually gives me a bit, a bit of a, a lot more of a bullish tone in the silver, in the silver stocks. Now guys, I'm actually in one silver stock. You guys actually know what that stock is. I'm actually in EXK myself. So I think EXK has a lot more upward, upward side. Um, uh, the right, the that's the wrong time to be getting in right now when it comes to EXK. Um, the right time was many months or a month ago when it was doing nothing. So we're just starting to see a bit of a nice little breakout of this SILJ, and you can see, sorry, the SIL and the silver giners. <laughs> Okay, ever since doing yesterday's video, guys, I just can't help. Every time I look at the, <laughs> every time I look at the junior stocks, now I think silver giants, <laughs> gold giants too. Um, <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't that be pretty cool? Let's, let's go, let's go, darn. <laughs> let's go for a date. I mean, then you can show me your silver giant. Oh my goodness. Anyway, John, get back on track with you. Um, <laughs> You're so professional, John. I can't believe you're just so professional. You're doing all these financial videos and trying to help people, but oh my goodness, and you just profanity. Oh my goodness, you're just so professional. Shut up, you. Who cares? Um, don't like it. Bye. <laughs> so we, we did actually have this triangle pattern was actually forming on the silver giant stocks. <laughs> now I'm actually default to silver junior stocks. I've got to say, silver junior stocks. Now we actually got to break to the upside. We had a break to the upside and now we're slowly crawling up. So I believe fireworks are going to start to come from the silver juniors because we're starting to slowly already break up. Very slowly though. So fireworks are going to start to happen very soon. But the GDX, look at this here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I did not see this. And now, if it, once we, as you can see, right, we're in this big channel, big trunk pattern. I did not recognize this on the GDX. I'm like, oh my goodness. I, this is, that's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. So if we start to continue break up and out of this triangle pattern here, guys, oh yeah, it's 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 the start of uh yeah, boom, right, boom to the moon, all right. So um, who's first? Me, me. Hey, I'm going with Elon Musk. Let's go, um, right. And so we can see what's happening through there. And now, also, we can see that the GDXJ. Oh, well, <laughs> I almost said that word again. <laughs> We could see with the. Oh, all right, John, calm down, will you? We. Oh, I love my job, guys. Someone said, in the, someone said in the chat box below, John, John, please don't stop smoking weed when you do these videos. <laughs> so sometimes, guys, I'm just in a good mood and I'm just really, really happy, and I do this mood. And mother, and other, <laughs> and, and other times, I'm I'm watching these these I'm, watching, I'm doing these videos. I'm just like, oh, you little cuffer. <laughs> 
But I really love what I do, guys. You know, um, and it, yeah, I just uh, doing this for 16 years. If you guys realize where I came from, you know, I, I grew up uh, where I came from was a family of, you know, nine people, seven kids, mum and, and mum and dad, um, five brothers, two sisters, and we lived in a three bedroom government assisted house. And um, we didn't really live on much. So, you know, to see where I am now, fast forward 20 years later after that, um, I've been in the markets now for 16 years, but 20 years, that was 20 something years ago uh, that I was experiencing that. Um, when you start to experience some really success in life, not only financial success, but, you know, health wise as well and fitness wise and, and relationship wise and friendship wise and, and stuff like that, you start to really work on your life, guys. You know, it's like, oh, wow, life's pretty amazing. You know, like life is really amazing. And every now and then, I, you know, I do a doozy in the stock market and I lose some money and, you know, but that's okay. Then I make it back to the next trade or, or, or not. And then I make it back to the next trade after that. You know, and so that's the only reason why guys, like I, I just love what I do with here. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes I get burnt out. Sometimes I get really tired about what I, what I do here, you know, um, but I just really, really love what I do because I know that I've been gifted now through my experiences and a lot of pain to share with you some of the most important things that comes to trading these markets and understand the markets, you know, guys, and on that webinar below, you know, and, and the secret number one and, and the se secret number one I'm going to share with you on that training below is exactly what I had to learn to become a good trader. Because if I didn't, I had a good trading system, but if I wasn't a good trader, then, then, but then, then it's not, it's, it's going to be useless. So then what I had to learn what goes into a good trader, and that's, that's I'm going to share with you exactly what goes into a good trader on the webinar. Then secret number two, I'm going to share with you exactly my trading strategy and what I look for in a setup. And then secret number three, I'm going to share with you exactly how I scan the markets to find these trades and so on, so on and so forth. You know, guys, I had to learn all these steps along the way. But, you know, afterwards, I just like, you know, man, life's, life's pretty amazing. And yeah, I go through my times where I'm pissed off and I'm cranky and I'm not always happy like this, guys. You know, and sometimes I get really, really you know, bummed out and stuff like that. But, you know, majority of the time, I would say probably 80% of the time, you know, even when I'm at the gym, you know, people, the people that are watching my videos right now, even though at the gym, like this guy's, this guy's, what, what are this guy's on? This guy is just on fire. He's having a good time. And I really, really, really try to make sure that I'm enjoying my time, enjoying my time, you know, loving what I do when it comes to trading the stock market. If you're not going to love it, you're not going to absolutely love the art of trading, then you're not going to last long. Absolutely not going to last long at all. I, I always... You know, the money comes, you know, it's like, oh, made 20 grand, oh, made 100 grand, oh, made 200 grand, oh, made half a million dollars, whatever, big deal, yippee doo bay, you know, million dollars, whatever. You know, the, the whole thing, guys, is that you got to love the art of trading. I love the art of trading. I love finding these trades, trading it, going through it, um, and so on and so forth. I really, really love the art of that. If you don't love that, if you don't really love the art of, of, of that, and you're just doing it for money, now, this money, the side effect, guys, but once you become a good trader, the money will follow. If you're just trying to trade for money and that's all you're focused on, you're never going to get it because you, you're always stuck. You're always stuck against that process. So, um, and again, on the webinar, I'm going to share with you on the secret number one exactly what goes into a good a good trader, which is quite a simple process. But I'll walk you through that. Um, you know, guys, and that's the reason why, like, I am the way I am. You know what I mean? Like, I. Um, uh, you know, I, I just, for me personally, again, that's where I grew up from to where I am now to financially doing really, really well for myself. Um, trading is just, I have, I'm coming off the most successful trading year ever last year. Um, you know, my health is really good. Um, I'm at the leanest I ever have been physical wise. I'm probably about, I mean, I'm in single digits, so maybe about probably seven, eight, maybe even 9% body fat. I'm really, really lean. I've, I've never been this lean before. I love going to the gym and spending time with friends and family and have a good time. So I've been working really hard over the last few years to try to develop routines and things that I do in my life um, that I absolutely love and, um, and make sure that I'm doing that as well too. Like even reading books and taking time out for myself and all this sort of stuff to balance myself. You know, like yesterday, I spent two hours just laying down on bed reading a book. Um, so guys, I'm always trying to do these things to balance out my life and balance out what I'm doing um, in my life. Um, and you got to love it. You know, you really, really, really have to love what you do. And that's what I think I've found is that the more that I love what I do when it comes to trading and be so fascinated, it's like, oh my goodness, it's, look, look, oh my goodness. That's why you guys, when you hear me, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a sexy beast, right? This is a sexy beast. Because when I see these things, like I say, I've seen this before and I, I know it's likely to happen and so on and so forth. So guys, um, 
please try to just enjoy the process, right? Like what, what use is it? What use is if, if you made a million dollars today, but you're pissed off and frustrated and overweight and sick all the time, you're not rich, you're broke. You're broke as hell, you know? But try to work on all the areas of your life all the time. I do that every single day. You know, for me, I, I live in Australia, Sydney, Australia. So I get up first in the morning to trade the last hour of the stock market. That's how I trade. I trade one hour per day. Um, and then I might spend maybe an hour or so per day, um, hour, hour or so throughout the day, you know, looking at the stock market and looking at different setups and so on and so forth. But that's that's my day, you know, and even today doing the recording, I got up and I did, I went to the gym um, and I did did a high intense sort of cardio gym, um, came back and I'm, then I'll be going to the gym again this afternoon to do more weights and more cardio because I love it. I absolutely love it. But guys, it's so important to try to make sure you're not just rich, but wealthy in all areas, good friendships. Um, removing baggage from your life, which is bad friendships that, that, that are not good for your life as well. Make sure you continue to get better at your trading and focusing on, on getting better at that. And you're slowly over the years, guys, get better and better and better. And the one thing I've found is that the more I take care of myself outside the gym, like even just laying down on bed for an hour or two and reading a book, do you, do you, do you realize what that does for your soul? It's like, wow, we, we take some time out to relax, to rejuvenate. And then it's like, my goodness, it's a things seem to be clicking a little bit more here. Um, and that's the reason why, guys, I, I just, I, I love what I do. I really do. And above all that, I now, now on the other end, I've gone through so much pain with my trading. You know, I now know what works, what doesn't work and how to trade and, and do really well from trading. And from that gives me such an abundance joy because I keep, I keep re- referencing back to where I came from. And I'm like, wow, man, you know, I remember, wor- I remember working, you know, for 400 bucks a week washing cars. And it's like, wow, you know, to where I am now. So anyway, guys, I hope this really helps you out. Um, make sure you join my webinar today and uh, and I'll, I'll talk more about the stuff that I talked about today. But please, guys, please, the bottom line, I know I've gone a little ramble here as well too, but the bottom line is, guys, is that please don't just chase the money. Please do not. If you think if you think once I get the money and I take care of everything else, please, guys, don't, right? Because what's going to happen is if you, if, I gave, if you saw a trade today like maybe GDXJ, you bought GDXJ today and a year from now or two years from now, you made a million dollars, you know, but then you're frustrated, you're pissed off, you're cranky and all this sort of stuff. Guess what's going to happen? You end up gonna, you're probably going to end up going to take that and blowing it and spending on all this crap to try to get happiness. You know what I mean? It's like, no. Um, and that's it's, it's a really, 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 really vicious cycle. So try to take care of all your life, guys. Um, and that way, the happier you are inside yourself, the better trader you are because you won't, you won't be trying to you, you won't be trying to trade for the markets. You won't be going to the markets for significance, you know. And for me, I'm, I'm getting like a little psycho um, philosophy on you here. But for me, whenever I wasn't getting my significance from my relationship that I really wanted, I always went to the stock market to try to trade, to try to make a profit trade, to feel good about myself for th- for four seconds. Then I want to trade again. And when I started to realize I take care of myself and my inner soul outside the markets, I came to the markets with a lot more fresher eyes and, a lot, and I could see things a lot more clearer of what the market was really telling me, not what I wanted, not what I wanted it to tell me.